Hello again folks, hope you're all well. So um, this weekend I decided to basically have a little reshuffle of my desk, move my PC under my desk and I thought I'd give you a little tour and uh, stick around to see how everything got on. So you might have remembered in one of my previous videos I said how we, we had to move house, basically the landlord wanted to sell the property and uh, yeah, we, we basically had to go and find a new place and uh, it's a bit, bit disappointing because I, I basically got a, a desk that I kind of finally wanted and you can see that in the picture on the screen, um, nice big long worktop, the caribou worktop the, and the, the PC was away over to the side out the way, had nice uh, mounting options and stuff uh, for storage and it was, it was just a perfect desk, I was planning to do a little desk tour at that stage but obviously it didn't work out so I'm now in a, a smaller room now and you can again see on the screen the, the new setup that I have or I should say my current setup, um, PC's taking up quite a lot of room in the desk, it's quite a big bulky PC um, I've no real option of getting a bigger desk and so on just because of the space constraints so my plan is to move the PC off the top of the desk take away one of the Alex drawers, put the PC below it and then shuffle some of the other stuff about on top of the desk like the, the microphone which you can see in behind the, the monitor at the moment and also the Elgato Wave um, webcam that's sitting on the top of the monitor and uh, hopefully it kind of gives me a little bit more space let's get to it so the first thing I did was power down the PC, turned off the PSU and then unplugged all the cables from the back. This allowed me to lift the PC off the desk and to the side somewhere safe out of the way. Make sure it doesn't get damaged and just put it on the floor. I then slid one of the Alex drawers out of the way but kept it under the desk so that it's still supporting the weight of the, the desktop and the monitors and so on. I just gave myself enough space to allow me to screw the, the plates on for the adult's legs. So this desktop comes with the holes pre-drilled and it was just a case of drilling in the, the five screws that holds each of these plates on. I've done the, first, uh, the front one first. And then I've done the one at the back which is obviously a little bit trickier. I had to squeeze in and get my arm up there. Then just screwed in the, the metal leg by hand. Well, it takes a few turns and that's it screwed right in. And then I done the front leg. Same again, just a few, few turns by hand. And that's it solid. This allowed me to shift the Alex draws out of the way. Just I was being careful just to make sure nothing collapsed. Drop the table down, make sure it was supporting the weight, and then I slid the Alex drawers out of the way. Give the place a quick hoover up because there's a collection of dust under the drawers. I wanted to make sure it's all nice and clean and tidy as well for positioning the, the PC. And then put the little monitor, monitor stand down that I'm going to use to support the PC. Place the PC on top of it and then slid into place. It's quite a heavy thing, so it's just being careful. I then removed the, the face cam, the Elgato face cam and the microphone as I'm going to reposition these. I'm just pulling the cables out here and then I repositioned the the Elgato face cam on a little stand that I've used before. Just make sure it's all tight and screwed onto the desk properly. And make sure it's a position that will actually um, not be blocked by the monitors. And then done the same for the, the microphone too. I mounted that in its new position on the other side of the on the other side of the desk, making sure it's Screw down tightly. It's not going to fall off or anything. And that was it. After this, it was just a case of doing some of the 
the cable tidying underneath the cable management. Um, I think I've done a pretty decent job. I've used some raceways that I've used before from Amazon. I mounted the power plugs and underside of um, underside of the desk as well, uh, and some cable ties as well. Kept all the cables nice and tidy and rooted them down the inside of the leg or the, the back of the leg. Keep them out of sight, so looking pretty good. Next thing I can do is give you a tour of all the stuff on the desk. Start off with the monitors. The top monitor is the Acer Nitro XF two five two QX twenty five inch. 240Hz 1080p monitor. Below that is the Ayama G Master GB3466WQSU-B1. That's a 1440p ultra wide monitor, um, 144Hz monitor. I've got a stand here that I got from Amazon with which has a little quarter inch screw at the top of it on a ball for uh, positioning things and my Algerto Wavecam is positioned on the top of that. Got the cable routed down the back of that. Microphone is the Fifine case T six six nine B. I think it is. Again, that was from Amazon. Highly recommend it. Comes with a boom arm, um, shock mount, and a muff and pop filter. Superb microphone. Highly recommended. Sounds great. I think. Speakers. I've got the Creative Pebble V twos. Pretty basic speakers, I'm hoping to upgrade those soon. We've got this position there aside the monitor. Headset, um, which is at the back here, is the Steel Series Arctis 7. I love these, uh, love, love this gaming headset, it's so light, so comfortable. I use it all the time for gaming. Uh, the microphone actually sounds not too bad on it as well, uh, but really, really comfortable, and uh, I just stick them here out of the way, keep them stored. And the receiver for this little wireless receiver is just tucked in there beside my uh, Pebble speaker, keeps it out of the way. The speaker jack also plugs into the back of that, so what happens is when you use your headset, it actually kills the sound to the speakers, which is good. I've got a little 3D printed Batman here that I've used my son's 3D printer for, the um, DaVinci 2.0, I think it is. Over here, I have a desk lamp, LED desk lamp. Um, Turn it on. Uh, so this has different, different, different um, temperatures, different color temperatures, and has a brightness switch as well. So touch sensitive switches here. But this also acts as a, a charger as well. So I can uh, place my mouse on this, and it charges. Um, you should see the green light kicking in. Oh, just shift that a wee bit, and there you go. That's the mouse charging. So at night, I put this uh, mouse on here, and it charges overnight for me, which is great. I know on this as well, there's time, there's an alarm, date and so on, and the temperature of the room, so as you can see it's a little bit muggy in here today. So the keyboard is the Corsair, uh, what is that again? It's the Corsair K70 Mark II Low Profile Rapid Fire, and the cable for that is routed through a, a, a hole I've cut in the top of the table and through the, the mouse mat. Great keyboard. And then I also have the Corsair Dark Core RGB Pro SE Mouse. Which you can see again, mouse that I've had now for a for a while. It's a fantastic mouse, and it's sitting on top of the Corsair MM three hundred Pro mouse mat. So looking good so far. The tabletop is the Malskit tabletop from IKEA, which is one hundred forty long by sixty deep, and I think I think it's about two centimeters thick or something like that. And sitting on top of the the one, uh, sitting on top of the one Alex Raw unit. Uh, obviously, I had the two, but I've took one of those away now for the for the legs. And underneath, we have my actual PC. So this is the Lian Lee. Oh, oops, on it, nearly forgot. I've added some LED lights to the back of the disc. So onto the PC itself, as you can see it's sitting on a little monitor stand that I bought. That is the Lee and Lee Lancool 2 mesh case. Let's get a little, little closer here. You can see what's inside that. At the bottom of the case I've got the sensor panel mod that I've done. I've got a video for that if anybody's interested to see how I've done it. It's pretty simple. But I think it looks pretty good. I've also got a little 3D printed logo here. Again I've done this on my, my son's old DaVinci Junior. 3D printer. I think it's turned out pretty well actually. 
looks pretty cool. Um, the motherboard is the Asus ROG Strix B550E Gaming and I also have the Ryzen 9 5900X processor with uh, the mother, uh, sorry, the memory is the Corsair Vengeance RGB Black Pro 32 GB at 3200 MHz. I've got four drives in this, there's two SanDisk Ultras, one terabytes positioned in the back. I've got Seagate Fire CUDA 532TB NVMe in this, along with another one terabyte uh, NVMe drive by Western Digital. The graphics card is the RTX 3070 Ti Vision um, by Gigabyte. Um, what else have I got in here? The AIO is the Capellix Elite H100i with the LCD upgrade kit, kit and I have six LL120 fans by Corsair keeping this thing cool. So it's all looking pretty good. And sorry, I nearly forgot the power supply is the RM750X RMX, the RMX by Corsair. I really need to get in there with Hoover and suck the dust out of that. It's a bit of a bit of the PC that's dirty. Just close these panels back over and shut the, shut the side panel. All looking good. And this is the X Rocker gaming chair. I nearly forgot to show you this. This is getting a bit, a bit old to be honest with you. A bit tatty. Um, the cats every now and then decide to take a a mad run at night and run right over the top of this so there's claw marks and everything you can see the basically where my bum, <laughs> bum space is so in here as well you're probably wondering a couple of drawers are full of crap but in this one I keep my old Canon 100D uh, camera and in here if I can get it open try to get this open one handed it's not easy come on Yep, and here is the Oculus Quest. This is the first version of it. Son's actually got the Oculus Quest 2. But still works well, still really good and fun to play with. Hook up to the PC every now and then. And the only other thing is in here is a, I've got my Xbox Elite controller that I use on the PC, which is a Elite 2. Um, and in here I've got the, the Razer Tartarus, I think that's how you pronounce it. A uh, little mini keyboard here. Got to be honest, I never ever use this thing. It was meant to be for using in the living room. In here I've got HyperX Cloud 2 um, headset. This is my old headset, but it's such a, a good headset. I don't really want to part with it, but obviously I, I'd rather have a wireless one because it's easier. But I'll keep this. And then in here I've actually got a pair of Sony headphones that I got free with a, with a phone years ago, but these headphones are absolutely brilliant. Um, they are the MDR-1R headphones, um, and they really are brilliant, brilliant headphones. So, again, don't want to get rid of them, so they live in my drawer. And here, speaking of claw marks, is the culprit. One of three cats that we've got, this is Safi. And just one last wee thing to show you, and that's how it's all kind of look when it's all lit up. Um, would have been better at night, but yeah, you get an idea how it would look. And that was that, guys. That was a, a quick tour of uh, how my new setup looks just now. Um, what do you think? Do you think I've, I've done the right thing moving the, the PC under the desk? It feels as if I've done the right thing. It's, it's gave me more space. Um, people will probably think that there's maybe more chance of the PC heating up um, a bit more um, below, but to be honest, since I've done it, I've not noticed any difference. If anything, it's actually a little cooler. The reason being, um, we've got a big massive water tank that's in a cupboard just at the back of us that's, um, that gets heated up during the night and then we've got hot water all day. That, that thing actually heats up the whole entire top of this house. It's always roasting, and as you know, heat rises, so the heat tends to be higher up. Meaning when my PC was on the table, it was higher up and probably getting affected a wee bit by the heat. Now that it's lowered down, it's actually maybe a, 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 a degree or two lower, um, which to me is a, is a plus point. Um, can't be bad. Uh, obviously, as well, people would probably worry about the dust and the cat hair and everything, but yeah, my little stand kind of does away with that up off the deck good airflow, stops all the rubbish and the crap getting sucked up and everything like that. And um, I've actually got a previous video 
um, that I'll share with you up in the, the corner there or the corner there or somewhere um, of that little stand if, if you're interested in it. But yeah, please please let me know your thoughts, guys. Um, uh, does it look good? Do you think it would have been just better leaving it as it is? Um, yeah, hopefully I'll get some comments on this and uh, please be kind. <laughs> so that's another video over, guys. Hopefully I'll get something again soon. Please leave a like and subscribe if you can. Keep this channel building. Um, I've actually hit 100 subscribers. I know that's nothing compared to a lot of YouTubers out there, but it's a little milestone for me and hopefully it's me and the, the right track kind of making the channel expand more. Um, fingers crossed. And uh, again, hopefully I'll see you guys soon. See you later.